Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about hits or shits. Um, this is basically my um, my first opinions on some holiday collections that are coming out, some new November releases that are probably already out. But I wanted to discuss some of these palettes about whether or not I would actually give them a go. So basically, I'm going to be trying, it's not necessarily an anti-haul because there are some things in here that I would get just because they're really pretty and I think I would like to have them. So yeah, basically, I'm just going to go through some of the November releases and holiday releases that I've seen that I that kind of caught my eye. Um, I got all of these um, images from Trend Mood on Instagram. They're not hard to find or anything like that. So yeah, basically, let's just gra grab into it. Let's just grab right into it. The first image that I'm going to put up is, I need to sit off to the side, don't I? I think I do. I'm going to sit off to the side a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the first one is the Beauty Bake New Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palette. Um, it's, it doesn't have a name on Trend Mood. I'm not sure if the name has been released or not. Um, it's this beautiful, like, blue and purple and pink and red palette. Um, I think this is a stunning palette. Um, I like that there is a nice, you know, it looks like there's four mattes, four shimmers, uh, four, what, blah, 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 my brain's not working. Nine shades, mattes, sh and shimmers. So it looks like there's four mattes, four shimmers, and maybe maybe five mattes in there, but the palette is really pretty. Um, I do have a palette very similar to this that I got from ColourPop, and it is the Mar palette. Now, this has been kind of, they've, I've dropped it a couple times and they've fallen out, so they're not in the same exact order. So it's not exactly the same as the Beauty Bakery palette, but I do kind of have you know, these three shades here, this ready kind of color here, this dark, you know, brown. It's not the exact same. It's really not. So I said, I had, it, you know, the ColourPop palette is similar, but it's not by any means a dupe for this. That really pretty pur plummy purple in the bottom corner is just calling my name. This looks just absolutely stunning. Would not mind having this palette, but I have enough shades in my collection that I don't need this palette. That's kind of what I'm wanting from a lot of my eyeshadow palettes now, especially being on like a low buy. I really, or almost a no buy, so extremely low, low buy. You know, I really want something to be innovative. I want, I want it to be something that I don't already have in my collection. And I think I could actually dupe this palette pretty easily with the eyeshadows that I've got already. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is, okay, let me, the Raw Beauty Christie Times or X ColourPop collab. I am actually getting this. I'm getting this for my Hanukkah present this year. This, this collection is just stunning. I don't think that I actually have any of these warm toned colors in my collection. The eyeshadow palette is stupendous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It it totally makes me think of Christy every time I see it. You know, the the mustards and the dark greens and the smoky plum or the smoky aubergine color. You know, the, the eyeliners, they all, you know, that mustard, that green, that brown. They're all colors that I do not own in my collection, so I'm really stoked to have them. Um, the Super Shock Shadows, I really do enjoy them. I don't use them a lot on my channel, but I do really think that there's something special about the Super Shock Shadows, and I really like them. And then, like, I'm getting into the lip gloss thing, and I think the, the really cute um, pinky one would be really nice to just kind of slap on. You know, if I didn't have, like, my, my, is it Celine lip gloss from Lunar Beauty? And then the clear one just looks, ugh, it looked like, like a sugar cookie, you know, when the light hits a sugar cookie and it's got the, that sugar on the top of it and it's just the light hits it and it's just glistening almost. And, and so I'm, I'm all over this, this release. I'm actually going to be up at 4.30 this morning so that I can get it when it's released because I'm that freaking excited about it. The next thing I wanted to talk about is this really interesting, um, this really interesting brand and these liners, and it's from, um, oh, let me see, what is, how do you pronounce it? Meliolops, 
I, I think I, that's how you spell it or that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, but they're actually coming out with these water-based ink liners. And then they've got these four like really freaking interesting brushes that I've never seen. And it's uh, a collaboration with um, Cut Creaser. Again, a person I've never heard of before. I don't know male, female, non-binary. I don't know um, anything about this person. But these graphic liners look like they're going to be super fun. And they look like they're super pigmented. And the packaging is just adorable. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm a sucker for purple. So purple brushes, I'm like, I kind of want them. But I'm not going to get these. This is just something that, you know, I'm not anti-hauling it. It's something that, you know, you know, I think for people that do a lot of graphic art on their eyes and their faces and stuff like that, these would be perfect for. I'm just not that kind of bitch. So unfortunately, this is a pass for me. But do I think it's fun and cool looking? Absolutely. The next thing I've got is the holiday 2020 release from Dominique Cosmetics. I am not blown away by this at all. I, it's kind of, it's kind of boring in my opinion. You can get the Heat of the Moment, which is the Cherry Red, um, which I think is a really pretty color. The, I, I'm kind of confused about the clear shimmer with the matte mauve. I mean, I guess if you're going for like, which is, <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing a matte mauve, but you know, I, this is just not something that speaks to me. It's not something that I'm like, oh my God, I have to get it right now. They're $28 a piece or 45 for both. And you get a bag apparently for the bundle. This is just boring. It's, it's something that I've already got. Everybody's got a clear gloss. Everybody's got a matte mauve liner. You know, I, there are very few people that I know of that don't have a red in their collection, you know, I, and, and their glosses. So they're not going to stay for very long on your face. And then they're going to, the red's going to bleed and it's just going to, it's going to get on your teeth. It's going to be a hot mess. So this is definitely a huge pass for me. The next thing I've got is from Dose of Colors. They're launching a skincare line. Now I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, it is the full first launch for their new skincare. Dose of Skincare is the line and you get a serum, an energizing serum, triple dose cleanser, a cleansing sponge, a triple dose cleansing. Oh, that's the cleansing set. And then you get a cold pressed booster and a hydra dose daily facial moisturizer. So you get a lot of stuff in here and it looks like you can get the triple dose cleansing set for 29 bucks, which is a $10 savings. This for me is kind of a why bother. And I know that sounds kind of negative and, and it is, I'll give you that. Um, the problem is, is that I have my skincare routine and I am quite happy with the way my skin looks now. I just feel like skincare is a really hard market to break into. I feel like people just like myself have their skincare routine down pat where they want it and don't really feel like they need to change anything. So I think coming out with, with skincare is really risky. You know, I, I hope it works out for them but it's kind of a no from me. And that face sponge looks like it would rub the shit out of your face. And it looks like it'd be hella abrasive. The next thing I want to talk about is the new Fenty highlighters. Um, you've got Rose Rave and Royal Icing. Royal Rave is a shimmery pink with a super fine sparkle. And Royal Icing is a shimmering champagne shade. They're, av they're available tomorrow on Fenty's uh, website. They're a jelly formula apparently, but they, they glide on like butter, it says. And, um, yeah, these are really pretty. These are really pretty. These are almost, they, they, they seem to me to be a bit like my Stila. It's, it's like, um, it's almost like a cream to powder highlighter. And so it's very smooth. It's a very soft consistency, very creamy consistency, but I would be keen bean to buy them because the Fenty products that I do have, I really, really like a lot. Now the next one is another release from, this is the holiday new obsession palette from Huda Beauty. Let's see, called the Gold Obsessions palette. This I've never, um, it's for 27 pounds, which is like $40 Australian, somewhere around there. I. I, uh, I've never purchased anything Huda Beauty 
and I know that people rant and rave about her products. This is just really safe. I feel like a lot of her palettes are just really safe and kind of boring. They remind me of like Estee Lauder and Lancome, you know, or even Clinique where you, where you have these very simple, very safe, very, I guess, accessible makeup. The only thing that I think would deter some people, I don't know if they're, gl yeah, glitters. I would never put those around my eye full stop. I am such a phobe, a phobic of getting glitter in my eye and going blind. Like, I, I can't even tell you. But I would never even use those around my eyes. They just... It's too risky for me. This is a safe palette. I have these colors in my, I, I mean, hell, like my um, Naked Cherry palette from Urban Decay is almost, you know, like you can tell there are a lot of the colors in here that are the same. The only thing that I don't have are those shimmers in there and they're shimmers that I would never use. So, uh, you know, I would have to give it a pass on that one as well. Just not my cup of tea. The next thing is the, um, the new release from KKW Beauty. It's the, it's, it's all fancy cause it's new packaging, but this is the con correct conceal bake and brighten line from her. And if you watch Robert Welsh's video on watching Kim do her makeup, he fucking roasted her like hardcore. She was like putting makeup on top of makeup and using like overusing and overcorrecting. And he went in. This ain't it. I, and on top of that, I, I have some, I have some reservations about Kim Kardashian anyways, and the Kardashians full stop. I, I don't think I would ever support their brand to be perfectly honest. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. And that's probably going to get me a lot of shit, but it's true. I just, I can't, I can't continue to reward with that kind of behavior. So it's just, it's personal. <laughs> it's, it's kind of personal. <laughs> oh, okay. I, the holiday collection from KKW, they're limited editions. You've got a five pan eyeshadow palette and you get a five piece mini lip liner set. This is boring AF. They put it in some holographic packaging and it's still fucking boring. It, the the choice of packaging versus what you're actually getting, like the colors and shades that you're getting makes no sense at all. It's like they were just like, we're going to make it shiny because it's holiday season. This is boring. I've got all these colors. I don't need this. The pressed glitters, I hate. You guys already know. I just said that. You know, the, I'll be honest, the, the, the price I mean, it's okay. It's $7 per eyeshadow, which is pretty fucking steep. Um, like you can go on ColourPop and get shadows. Like if they're having a big sale, you can get like a ton of shadows for nothing, you know? So I just, this is boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. And the packaging isn't even all that great to be perfectly honest. So I, it's just a pass from me. Oh God. Okay. I need to, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this differently because I've just, I'm like roasting the Kardashians here or the Jenners and Kardashians. The next thing I've got is the Kylie Cosmetics limited edition holiday collection for 2020. I have to admit that these shades and the eyeshadow palette look like they would be so fucking ashy on everybody like the only like well not everybody but if you were a deeper darker complexion you can't wear these colors you cannot you can't they're just they're gonna turn into an ashy mess which is unfortunate as hell i'm getting really tired of brands putting out these pastel pinky colors and not thinking of people of color at all. It's really frustrating. And I can only imagine, you know, being a person of color. Well, I am a person of color, but you know, being a person of color, that's like black or of African descent or, you know, from the middle East and that sort of thing. Um, you, you wouldn't, you know, be able to wear these. I mean, even some Asian people, um, you know, have darker skin tones and stuff like that. Like there, there, there is a market for people of color and for people of darker complexions. There is a market there. You can't just exclude people because you can't wear it. Like with Midas Cosmetics, when um, Neon MUA did his collaboration and he came out with four different highlighter, contour, and bronze palettes, like, 
or blush, bronzer, contour, and highlight. Like, why can't every brand do that? You know, Midas Cosmetics is not a huge brand. They're an independent brand, but they come out with these four palettes and it's a range that everybody can play with. You know what I mean? Like it goes from like lightest light to the deepest dark. Like it just like, why can't brands be more inclusive? I just don't get it, especially given how much money Kylie has made off of her fucking lip kits. This, this, this collection frustrates me. This one frustrates me a lot. So that's a hard pass from me. Um, she's also fucking hell. <laughs> oh my God. This is just a roast of the Kendall's and or Jen, Jenner's and, and West's, I swear. Um, the new skincare collection from Kylie, the, the, you know what? I might actually use this if I took baths. i unfortunately, I don't. Um, I love good smelling candles. I love body scrubs, love bath salts. Body scrubs are like my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite. The only thing I would give a pass on are the two can or uh, is the one candle, the coconut and vanilla only because I cannot stand coconut. I hate coconut, um, coconut and vanilla particularly, um, they remind me quite a bit of what was the name? It was, I think the banana boat. Uh, what was it? It was like the sun tanning lotion that you would use when you were younger and it came in the brown bottle that was like rectangular shaped and it was so greasy that it was just, it just reminds me of that that's that kind of scent to me and I just I can't it just it brings back way too many horrific memories but the gardenia I love the smell of gardenias so I you know if you could get just one or the other I would totally go for the gardenia one but I love I, I actually you know would but I would use all of these products like I, I go to Lush and I get the uh, sea salt body scrub. I love that one. Makes your bathtub slickish or your shower slick as shit. So you have to be really fucking careful with that. But these are all things that I would use. Maybe not the advent calendar, but the advent calendars aren't, weren't a thing that I grew up with. So I'm not, I don't really care about that. But this is something that I would use. Is it something that I just absolutely have to have? No. So that's, that's shocking. I just said something positive about a Kardashian, Jenner. So moving on, let's pretend like that didn't happen. The next thing is the Nikita Dragon palette with Morphe. For somebody being as outlandish and outspoken and over the top as Nikita Dragon, I would be expecting a lot more from this palette. Um, this is just really kind of basic -y pastel blip. You know, the palette's 30 bucks. You get a shit ton of palette, 35 shades. You know, they go from shimmers, glitters, and pressed pigments. I just, there's nothing about this that really screams Nikita. You know, I think that the, the, the few shades that are in there that are unique, like that one in the middle, um, is really pretty. And I'd love to see that one swatched, but you've got pressed glitters in there and, and all that stuff. And it's just, you know, I, it's just... It's a little basic and a little boring. Oh, and that comes with brushes as well. I didn't realize that. But I think people are kind of over Morphe at this point. And, you know, the... Yeah, I just... This is not something... Even if I were a huge Morphe fanatic, I wouldn't buy this palette. This palette's just... It's boring. It doesn't scream Nikita, which is a shame because I think this might be her first collaboration with Morphe. I'm not sure, but I just, it's not, no, it's not it for me. Unfortunately, this is just, the color story doesn't speak to me. You know, that pressed glitter really gives me anxiety. I'd never fucking use it. So unfortunately that one's a hard pass for me. The next one is one that I, oh my God. Okay. This is from, uh, Natasha Denona. This is the, um, holiday 2020 palette from Natasha Denona. It's limited edition and oh my dog, do I want it so badly. So it comes with a palette and then it's also comes with liquid eyeshadows. So you get 15, um, eyeshadows and then multi-chrome pigments that are in there as well. And apparently those are the ones down right in the center. Um, the swatches look beautiful. Like I, I don't have, 
Well, I do now with the with the um, Stone Cold Fox palette. I do have kind of like those dusty rose colors, but man, those are pretty. This it's a purple palette, and I don't know if you noticed or know this about me, but I actually really love the color purple. And then like the greens in there and the brown, um, you know, are colors that I don't have. The bottom row that mustard yellow orangey color I don't have in my collection. You know, there there are shades in here that I just don't own. Um, I think they're unique and I think they're beautiful. I saw just a comment now that if it went on sale, person said if it went on sale, they'd buy it, but they're not going to pay the $129 for the bundle. I wouldn't, I, well, you know what? Having never tried Natasha Denona and only having word of mouth, I would be really hesitant to buy it myself, but the, the palette is beautiful. It's so, so pretty. I would happily happily own this palette with no complaints whatsoever um so this is definitely a hit for me the next thing is from revlon it is do, 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 where is it here it's the high voltage color collection so you get six palettes so it's clapback tantrum big bang that's a dub fully loaded and slight flex so it doesn't I don't believe it gives a no there's no price for these at all of the f six palettes they literally just kind of repeat the same colors in a different order and they throw in a random bright color here and there these are i mean if if all you can afford is drugstore and revlon is like the higher end of drugstore kind of like l'oreal is if you can afford to buy these and you can't afford to buy like you can't afford to pay for a sh you know a shit ton of money for an eyeshadow palette um, I honestly can't say that I've ever used a Revlon eyeshadow before. Not that I can recall. If I did, it was probably something that I stole from the drugstore when I was younger. But I just, I'm not inspired by these. These are kind of a shit. They're kind of shit, to be honest. The next one I've got is from Sample Beauty. It's the Equalizer Volume 2 palette. Um, I'll put up the palette here and then, um... I'm, so I'm really drawn to this palette simply because the purples and the orangey red pinky thing is just right up my alley. Um, do I need this palette? No, because I have a lot of these, like the brown shades and the, 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 uh, shimmers and stuff like that. I have a lot of these. The purples are the ones that I'm kind of lacking on. I really don't have a lot of purples in my collection, but I feel like I could dupe the reds and most of the purples with my um, Naked Cherry palette. Um, now I'm going to pop up a, um, the picture of the swatches. The swatches look really great. Um, they look like they work on all, all skin tones. Now, I, I think when you get into the deeper skin tones, like the deeper, darker skin tones, these might turn a bit ashy, um, but on the models that they've got, they look really pretty. But uh, yeah, this one I'm kind of torn on. It's it's actually like for 30 shades, you for 30 pounds or for 20, 22 pounds, you know, you get like a pretty decent amount for your for your buck you know being in Australia I, I would be paying like $40 but I wouldn't mind doing that given how many shades you get and the color range in there and just they look really fucking pretty so I wouldn't mind having this at all so for me it's kind of a hit the next thing is from Suva Beauty um, now this is a brand that I haven't heard anything about ever. This is coming out on the 13th of November from their website. It's 35 bucks for 12 shades. You get, it's a pressed pigment palette. I would assume that it would be, I'm not sure if it's vegan or cruelty free. It doesn't seem to say, but that this is a palette that's really pretty. I love the matte shades. The shimmers, the pressed glitters, I would never use. Never in a million years would I use them. Um, this is the Magic and Ecstasy palette, it looks like. Do I think the glitters are gorgeous? Absolutely, they are stunning. But um, I just, I would never, they look so chunky and they just look like they would just be a fucking mess. I would never put those on, around my eyes, ever. So this is a hard pass. 
um, simply because of those glitters. And I know that I'm probably in a, in a minority when it comes to my feelings on glitters being around the eye and stuff like that. I've just... I've just heard too many horror stories about glitters and eyes and no thank you. Big pass, big pass. Looks like this is a new beauty brand called Vive by Jamie Genevieve. So, oh, that's cute. It's kind of her name. So you get an essential eyeshadow palette, which kind of looks like a dupe for soft glam. And then you've got uh, highlighters. You have lippies and lip pencils. I think for a first launch, this is pretty safe, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I kind of think that, uh, you know, it's a safe kind of option to do. I, I just, I don't know. I really feel like this is a dupe for ABH. And, you know, given the, the price point for this, they would have to be pretty fucking stellar. And the problem with it being an indie brand is that, you know, asking that $43 for the palette, you know, you get 10 shades. Like, that's that's pretty pricey. So they'd have to be pretty fucking bomb. But again, you can pay around the same price and get an ABH palette, and you know that the Soft Glam palette is a good one. So I just, I, mm, I, the price point is what gets me. This is a very safe release. I think it's very pretty. I don't have a problem with it, but there's there's other brands that have these very same shadows and colors and highlighters and that sort of thing. So that's the only part where I'm kind of like meh about because I'm pretty sure that most people have these already in their collection. So it's a pass for me. All right. The next thing I have is the Wayne Goss 2020 palette release for the holidays. I actually kind of dig this palette. The, again, I would never use that glitter around my eyes but I think this palette's really pretty. But saying that, I have these gray tones in my ColourPop palette. You can, and you know, unless he was doing something like thoroughly revolutionary, I don't think that this is an essential need to have kind of palette. I know that he has a really good formula. People, you know, rave about his formula and stuff like that. I just, Rose, a uh, beauty boomer, likes Wayne Goss's products. But I, I don't need this. Is it pretty? Absolutely. Am I kind of like drawn to it? Absolutely. But do I need to have this? No. And we don't have prices either. And I don't know what his pricing is like. I think he kind of is a little bit on the, the pricey side. A black coal liner pencil. I've, I've got one. I don't, I'm quite happy with my Urban Decay um, liner. It works really well. You know, I just... I've got it. I don't need this as well. And it's certainly at the price point that I know that he uh, requests on his stuff. The next thing is from Wet n Wild. This is the Starlux collection. These look super duper fun, but the problem with this is I just can't with the glitters. I don't understand why there's so much glitter in everybody's palettes nowadays. It's so fucking dangerous. I don't know how people can get away with you with, with like allowing them to be put on eyes. I, I just, I don't get it. The little highlighter sticks are cute AF. Like I would use the shit out of those. I think they're really great. Um, unfortunately I can't get wet and wild here in Australia anyway, but, uh, but yeah, they've got lip scrubs. They've got lip glosses and stuff like that. You know, again, you don't need a big bunch of glosses. I love a good lip scrub. You know, I, I use the one from Frank and Body, um, the coffee scrub for the lips and it's phenomenal. Um, I've also got the mint julep lip scrub from Lush that I really like. I used it this morning. So, uh, yeah, this one is kind of a pass for me again. Um, kind of safe, kind of boring, just not, I'm not inspired by this collection. And that's what I really want is to be inspired. And the last thing I want to talk about now, these, I genuinely, genuinely want like super badly. Um, this is from Winky Lux. These are their cheeky rose blushes. One, they're stunning. Like that packaging and the presentation, presentation, the presentation is beautiful. I, I don't know why I'm kind of a sucker for like embossing, not embossing. Um, what do you call them? Uh, imprints. I don't know the word, but I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for this type of thing. I think they're 
stunning. I, I love the lawn comb highlighter body highlighter um, that has the rose. Um, I just think it's really fucking pretty and I wouldn't mind like having these. I would feel really bad about kind of destroying them. The only problem is, is I'm not a cream product kind of gal. I never have been. I am quite a matte. I like matte looks. Um, I mean, do I like a shimmer every once in a while? Sure, but I'm definitely much more of a matte kind of gal, but I want these. I, I genuinely do. And they're only $20. And to be perfectly honest, like it looks like with cream products, you don't have to use a lot. They tend to be quite pigmented. So you would probably have a hard time going through one of these and like hitting pan on them. But ugh, I do want them. I really, I really, really do. They're so pretty. And yeah, I just, oh, these definitely are a hit for me. I just looking at them, I'm just like, oh, they're so pretty and I want them. So yeah, that's definitely a want over need kind of thing. Yeah, so that's the end of my video. Um, this is my hit or shit for the holiday November 2020 releases. I hope you like this video. This is like, I think the second one that I've done of these. Um, I do want to try and get into doing them more often, but sometimes it's just hard to keep up, but that's why you've got trend mood. You don't need to keep up because everything's on her page. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what kinds of things that are coming out, um, this holiday season in, in November that, you know, kind of caught your eye and um, kind of make you want to go, Ooh, I want that. And if, if there's something in here that I kind of shit on, then let me know and, and, and correct me, you know, you know, educate me, but that's basically it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you soon. Bye.